there's a connection between procrastination and, and passive aggressiveness. Last night, my girlfriend and I were watching uh, uh, Jeopardy reruns of a Jeopardy tournament from the 90s. And there's this guy on the, on the tournament named Colby. And Colby is this smug dude with a funny expression on his face. And he wears a big oversized suit. And uh, that's not the point. He, he's, he's pretty great. He knew all the answers. Uh, but my point is, one of the questions was about a psychologist who, I guess, pointed out... I, I don't remember how Alex Trebek phrased the question, but... There's a connection between procrastination and, and passive aggressiveness. So, somebody, maybe it was Colby, one of the contestants answered the question about who the psychologist was. I don't remember. That's why I'm not on Jeopardy, I can't remember that stuff. But it struck a chord with me because I fight procrastination sometimes. I tend to procrastinate too much, you know? So <laughs> does that ever happen to you? And I started thinking about it. What if it's passive aggressiveness that causes it? So I'm gonna start to really pay attention and uh, to the, the micro moments of of, uh, you know, if, if I fail to get something done on time, if I'm, am I being passive aggressive here? Like, how, how many times throughout the day am I unconsciously being passive aggressive about something? And that's why it doesn't get done. So in an effort to be improved, to, to improve and be the best human that I could possibly be, the best version of myself, I am going to really pay attention to that and improve upon that and Something really amazing is going to happen today.